Blipblisseckers, now I almost didn't make this video, so it's, it's so late, but I didn't do a what if video yesterday, so I figured, well, I didn't record yesterday a what if video, I mean, so I figured I'd do it now, but, um, sorry, my nose was snuffy, but, uh, I was like, I'm Oh yeah. We start off with Ty. I'm a little upset about what's going on with Agamon, which is understandable. And he asked where Yo Lee was because, well, no, actually, Davis said TK and all of them said Yo Lee wasn't there yet. And when Davis and Cody went to go find Yo Lee, Yo Lee was standing at the door, depressed. Now. I want to say this is just basically normal depression, but when you think about it, because this is episode 10, the Dark Ocean debut isn't until episode 13, if I remember right. So, what if, and I already did a what if video on Yoli having a different partner to connect to her dark ocean connection. So what if this was actually like a little hint at the dark ocean coming in three more episodes? But anyways, after that, they tell Yoli it's okay for her to stay behind and they go to the digital world. And while there, they ran into one mom. Now, this isn't so much a why well, did you mom line on it, but more of a funny moment in this season. As I said before, season two is more comedic relief, while season one was more teaching you lessons. So Wedmon pops up with the dark green on him, of course, and says, You will not defeat me! And Flame Dramon attacks Wedmon with Flame Shield, I believe he called it. Yeah, Flame Shield. And Wedmon gets sent into the dark spire and says, I am being defeated! Now, I know it's corny, but it was a funny joke. Come on, you can't say it's not. Now, meanwhile, Ken starts working on a way to control ultimates, basically. Now, see, in season two, they acknowledge Iron Dramon is an ultimate because he destroys the Star League, and he said that Ken was trying to figure out why he couldn't control uh, Greymon and make him evolve into a Metal Greymon virus. But Skull Brain One instead kept showing up. So he's trying to figure that out. But I want to take a little detour because the reason why I say they acknowledge uh, Aerodromon as an ultimate in this season is because just like with Monzimon, which I did for a uh, What If video, Monzimon is ultimate. But in season one of Digimon, he's basically considered champion because he gets so defeated easily by a champion. Same happened with Andromon, who is an ultimate. Got defeated easily by a champion, which was just Kabuterimon. But... I'll just... Uh, but let's move on from there. So finally, Ken figures that out and but by the time he figures it out and creates the dark spiral yes I know that's a horrible name but it is what it is <sighs> Agumon has already escaped thanks to the help of Ormon and Ormon uh, 
was trying to get Ken to use him and experiment on him. That Ken wasn't having it. So he went out to get Aguma back, which Aguma was... Aguma was kind of dumb. He charged at Ken after everyone was fighting the Digimon. Ken was already controlled. And Ken threw the spiral onto Agumon's arm, which again gave some control over back to Agumon in this time. This evolves him into the true Metal Greymon, a Metal Greymon virus. Now, as I said in past video, I'm not sure why they basically said no, we're not gonna keep using Metal Greymon virus in the anime. Because I guess it was because Greymon Pumpkin, Metal Greymon Pumpkin, aka Metal Greymon, just basically now, they wanted to make the mainline Metal Greymon, but in true phase, the virus version, which is used for Agumon Black, is the main Metal Greymon line, but it is what it is on that. I was just happy to see him again because I don't think Metal Greymon Virus was ever used in the animes again after this. If I remember right, unless you count Metal Greymon 2010, but that isn't really a virus either. But anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this. Love you all.